This is a Collider.com audio interview. To, to respond to the bad questions you've been getting all day, I brought an A-plus list of bananas. Damn it. Somebody, it, it has moved up to like the first oh, I, I, tweet. But I promise you, there was somebody else before me. Uh, you, you responded very fast. I did. It was very I fast. Did. I was not prepared. Very, it was desperate. <laughs> right. No comment. So thirsty. Right. Just um, like waiting around for bloggers to tweet at me. Uh, oh, no. I'm... My brain is mush. Right, don't yes. don't like think that me looking around is. Oh no no! I believe me. I'm, I'm re- are you ready? <laughs> Born ready. Okay. Uh, who should play Spider Man? Oh God! Yeah, they're doing that again. Right. I think right now it's down to Asia Butterfield and Tom Holland. Those are the two names that are. Don't being... know who those people are. Good for them. Um, who Asia was in Ender's name? Game. He's been in a whole bunch of movies. Didn't see that for some Why would I have seen that? So you have no, so you have no preference then. Um. Oh, you mean like between the two of them, yeah. or just my own, like or, like a write-in? Sure. Am I allowed to do you a write-in? Do a, you can do a write-in. Um, Has to be someone between the ages of sixteen and twenty-one. How old is Quinn Benjamin Wallace? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's that's a very good. I like that answer. Okay. Um. When will you be playing a superhero? Um. I when someone asks me, I'll do it the second someone asks. The promise. Uh, okay, because you know I heard DC and Marvel have a few movies that they're working on. Oh, good for them. Are they making movies? Right, good I, for I heard, them. I heard there might be. Good having, for them. Right. I heard there's Avengers opened at least with <laughs> at least a dollar or two. Um, Did you see it? Is it great? Uh, the Avengers sequel is quite good. Quite good. Oh, it, it's quite good. I, I think it's not. Is it as good as the first one? Mm-hmm. It, it, it can't be. No, of course. Because the first one was is, perfect. Is, well, it's also as summer blockbusters go. It was perfect. It's perfect it was movie. a very it was a very fun movie, and it had the team coming together. Uh, it's very hard to recreate that in the sequel. Yeah. Because it has that magic that you you know it's the first time seeing it. Yeah, yeah, and the people reluctantly getting together can only happen the one time. You can only be the reluctant hero once. Except they make you be the lu- reluctant hero over, but you're like, come on. It's, it's really effing good, though. As an audience member, I mean. You're yeah, like, but, well, the, but the sequel's really effing good. Great. Um, huge fan base, this is what I got off Twitter, huge fan base uh, surrounding Becca and Chloe yes. as a couple. I love it. Right. Uh, I love what, it. What are your thoughts on that? I love it. I couldn't be more excited about it. It's, you know, in the first movie, I, you know, when we were doing the scenes, I was like, this is entering, like, Sketchy Town, and I love it. That's where I live. That's my home. Is in Sketchy Town, and um, and um, then we just kind of lent into it. And um, in the second one, well, I don't know. It's a weird combination in the second one where there's moments where you're like, oh come on, that was a perfect opportunity for a book Chloe moment. Yeah, that's all right. right. Um, and then there's stuff where I'm like, oh, that's gonna blow those chicks minds because you know some chicks are really into it and I'm like dope I love it like you know the fan fiction and all of it like you know are are you reading the fanfic I tried I'm not gonna lie to you I tried to read one uh fan fiction because I was like I have to know you know um and it was uh it maybe I maybe I chose the wrong fan fiction to to (laughs) read but it was so slow I was like I was expecting it to be like oh my god I can't believe they're writing this crazy shit about me and Brittany but it was it was like there was a lot of exposition and I was like this isn't a Dickens novel I you know so I I gave up on it after that it's probably for the best I probably shouldn't be reading that Uh, okay so basically uh, fans should know that they need to tweet you the ones with the heavy sex the ones that go really fast that jump into your words not mine (laughs) right just what are you doing to there. me? What are you doing? Um, well, it's weird because in this one, there's like, there's also this like, you know, the the weird thing where I can't stop complimenting the commissar. But then the way they edited some of the stuff with Haley, I was like, dude, why does it look like I want to bone this chick? We filmed a perfectly normal scene, unlike the you know Becca and Chloe scenes in the first movie, which were always borderline. Right. Like. Haley and I filmed this perfectly normal scene and they like cut it together with like these lingering looks and I was like why does it look like I want to bone this chick like first of all I've already got like my potential lesbian storyline with with Chloe and (laughs) sex so I feel disloyal and secondly Haley's 17 so I'm a creep like I I, your words not mine oh boy (laughs) exactly Uh, a lot of people wanted to know about a solo album yeah, people do want to know about a solo. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna tell you a secret. You've done some musicals no recently. No <laughs> end. Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing: like, I, the highest compliment that I'll pay myself is that for an actor, I sing well. And there are so many 
you know, superior singers in the world, like, and I don't write music. If I wrote music, it'd be a different story, but I don't write music. And so the idea of somebody like writing songs for me to sing is like, well, have a better singer sing them. That would be more fun to listen to. Uh, I, I think there's probably at least one or two music producers who might be able to, uh, uh, or want to work with you. you want to, yes. I've been asked, but I, you know, I... It's, so it's, 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 it's no like, interest? No interest, no. Really? Well, what the... Come on. What would I, like, what's the message there? Like, who... Who, you know... Anna Kendrick does Christmas? If it's like... If I had any... If I could play the ukulele like Zoe De Chanel, I would find my own personal M. Ward and we would do it, a side album. But I don't, I, you know? Um, okay. I mean, so no holiday album, you know? I mean, yeah, they... They're, yeah, they would, they specifically would want that, but I am reluctant. Even though Chris, a Christmas movie is on my bucket list, and... Oh, that, that comes up to... Oh, great. We're going And a, a, a Christmas album used to be on my bucket list, but now I am a grown-ass woman and know that that would be kind of fucking insane. My, one of the other questions is, what is the dream project? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually, because I get that question all the time, and... You know, you know well enough to know that like there is no such thing as a dream project because I don't know it until I've read it. Oh no, like, 100%. You know, but it's good. To I mean, put, it's good to put it out there. You know, though. for example, my favorite film is The Women, but they, you know, for me to even say that like oh a remake of The Women, they remade The Women and it was a shit show. So you know, there's no you know you won't know it until you find it. Um, and in many ways, you know, uh, the last five years was a dream project. Um, so you know, check. Um, but that's actually good Christmas Christmas movie because it's true I really it's like a bucket list thing and that's actually something easy to say because people ask all the time and I'm like I don't know yeah but you know uh, uh, Christmas movies they're going to keep on making them I know so you just Hopefully. find the right script just find find the one uh, have you ever stolen a prop or piece of setting from a film I stole a little snow globe from the first Pitch Perfect um, that I don't think ever made it on screen so it's not like fans would be tickled by that information um, but I still have it and um, what else what else what else uh, nothing from another was uh, that's good I do have sticky fingers I feel so I feel like there should be <laughs> there would be more but as I'm like loading up on these cameras right exactly um, uh, but yeah I don't that's good nothing nothing anecdotal okay uh, favorite bad movie or movie that you love but everyone seems to hate Well, <laughs> um, I just saw Bad Girls again. Did you, have you ever seen Bad Girls? Oh, Steve, Wait. with with Drew Barrymore and Madeline Stowe. Oh, you know something? I I don't know if I have seen this one. Run, don't walk. <laughs> it's okay. Here's the thing. It does actually get quite. There's like a stretch, like in the second act, that is quite boring. But um, the oh, the first act, it's delicious. It's I mean it's. You know, it you, is, was this recommended to you, or you just were flipping the channels and it came on? No, this is from this is from childhood. So this oh, okay. is from oh, okay. like a western with four girls. When you're a child, I mean, I never like now. I, I I forget like why this you know strikes a chord with young women, and it's you know, I, Bad Girls is terrible, but I loved it. I watched it over and over again. And by the way, it's super inappropriate and like has rape in it. But I was like, it's women, and they're you know riding horses, and you know. They're shooting guns and, like, saving each other from stuff. And it's amazing. And, um, uh, so I'd just never seen anything. I'd never sure. seen that represented before, certainly not in a Western. And, um, you know, uh, it kind of, watching it again recently, like, made me realize, like, it didn't matter to me that this was terrible and, you know, you and weird. Them. I, you know, and had some material in it that I was really too young for. But, you know, it was just what I wanted to see, so I'm, you know, I'm glad that girls are watching Pitch Perfect and not a Western with rape scenes in it. I, I also agree with that. Even this. though, I will say, it made me who I am, so... <laughs> so basically you're saying people should watch Pitch Perfect I, and I, Bad Girls. I turned out okay, <laughs> mostly. Um, what's the last album you listened to in full? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Can I check my phone? Sure. Because I don't know in full, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking it was to pimp a butterfly because I am super street. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, uh, and I have, I have, a, I have the Alabama, the Alabama Shakes new album ready to go, but I haven't listened to it yet. Uh, who was your first TV or movie crush? 
Um, Vincent Carthizer. Wow. Have you seen pictures of Vincent Carthizer when he was young? No. He I... was a teen idol. And when I saw him on Mad Men, I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. And that's not a reflection of, like, his... It's. I mean, really, it's a testament to what he can do to himself. Right, Like, yeah. he's... You know, like there are, you know, like Leonardo DiCaprio can make himself super unattractive in movies, but he's obviously very handsome. And like Vincent Carthizer, I was like, how are you doing that? Like, you're so slimy in Mad Men, and you were shit hot as a teenager. I mean, I watched the trailer, because I, I was telling a friend about it recently, and I watched the trailer for Masterminds? Oh, wow. With Patrick Stewart? I think that's... That, or is that... I'm, a, not, I'm not 100%. Wait, 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 I'm going to look it up. 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 Good to know that you're not on that, that, you know, the always accurate IMDb. I love the site, but... Oh, shush. It's true, though. Wait, is that a different... Come on. Come on, you bastard. The reception in here is a little suspect. Yes, Patrick Stewart and Vincent Carthizer, masterminds. Sorry, plural. Holy shit, I do remember this yes. movie. Wait, yes, yes. And they, they take over a school? school? Yes, I, I totally saw this. And he is like, you know, with his like, what is it? I mean, I had clearly no... like andro- something with young girls because we are not like fully sexually developed. Like the androgynous thing really does tap into something in our brains because he had that swishy. No, no, it's like, it's like, like the Japanese girl, manga. The girl hair. Yeah. And I was just like, I don't like I don't understand what's happening. I totally remember this and movie. And so, didn't. so like you know, he's so slimy on Mad Men, but he's married to Alexis Bledel, and I'm like, I'm not surprised that dude is hot, but not on Mad Men. Um, he also shaved his head in a certain way. Yes. To, for the role. Yes. So it's, I mean, he really went for it. Yeah. And it shows. Uh, favorite Disney prince, princess, or villain, or all three. Villain. Um, oh God, I don't know. Does it just animated or Disney? Oh, animated. Disney? Yeah, no, remember. animated. Yeah. Um, uh, James Woods as Hades, I think, in uh, Hercules. Oh wow, it's weird. James Woods doing that. Um, um, uh, and then um, maybe uh, you know a little a little Meg Ryan and John Cusack and Anastasia. <laughs> oh yes, I believe I believe Liz Liz Calloway did the singing in that. Right, beautiful, you, beautiful tone. Right, I'm glad you know something. I give you credit. Most people go with like Lion King or Aladdin. You're reaching for other movies, mm-hmm. so I appreciate that. Ugh, that song is beautiful. Uh, what was the movie that made you love movies? Um, many. It came in a sort of series. Um, and I feel like they're very pedestrian, but you know that's sort of what happens to you when you're young and sure, you know, like you're discovering that mus- <laughs> Masterminds was not one of the movies. It made me love movies, but um, uh, in a progression um, in terms of how young I was and um, what that movie was teaching me that movies could do was Fiddler on the Roof, oh, uh, In the Name of the Father, and then um, Requiem for a Dream. And oh, wow. I know that Requiem for a Dream has, you know, become, um, you know, copied many times over, and I'm sure that it borrowed from many sources itself, but movies that at that time I'd not been exposed to, so sure. perhaps that's a pedestrian choice, but I'd never seen, um, you know, cinematography and editing used in that way, so it was the first time that I was like, oh, movies can do that. Yeah, I walked out of that theater, I saw it in the theater, and I walked out disturbed. Yes. I, I actually took... Be by myself for a little while. Yeah, yeah, I me was, completely. Yeah. yeah, I was in high school and and like a friend showed it to me, uh, you know, this dude was like, you "Gotta watch this movie," and I was like, "What the fuck did you just do to me? Right. This is awful. I feel awful." Um, what's your can't miss TV show right now? Um, Game of Thrones, obviously. Well, and what am I doing tonight at six fifteen? Ugh, and oh fuck me, I'm gonna be on a plane. Fuck, I'm going to fucking stupid Madrid. God. I'm at Madrid. I'm going to watch Game of Thrones. I'm going to tell you a secret. They have these apps and these ways of watching things. Yeah, but I don't know how to get Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know how to get Wi-Fi on. There's no Wi-Fi on international flights. When this interview's over, um, just, well, I'll tell you something. Okay, great. Uh, um, um, and Kimmy Schmidt, I think I've watched in its entirety like five times. That's on my list of things to watch. Oh, my God. I don't want to oversell it because, you know. like. No, I, I heard it's great. Like, Tina Fey's involved in it. I'm, I'm all like, set. All shows it takes a hot second to find its footing, but even when it's finding its footing, it's better than most things on TV. I've heard this from everyone. Um, what is what am I up to? Uh, I'm telling you, when you finish it, 
just start over because no, I, there are jokes that I promise you, you like I have, I've watched it five times and I swear to you, there's still things I'm like, how did I not see that joke before? I've watched it five times. No, I, but that's also the if you rewatch Thirty Rock, yes, you, you will constantly see totally, new things. Totally, I, I think uh, Thirty Rock is the best comedy that's been on TV, in my opinion. I, when, in my opinion, I, when I interviewed uh, Tina and the show had ended, I said, "What do I need to do?" to get more uh, uh, Jack and Liz, you know, banter and stuff, she goes, fanfic. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, well, Whoa. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. About I don't roll that, that hard. Um, oh, okay, so I'll actually ask about some other projects. You are, do you sleep at all? Because when I look over the, the profile, and every time I speak to you, there's like five more movies that you've done. Mm-hmm. So what's, what's the thing? Mm-hmm. What's the secret? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, yeah, I do feel like I'm. it's possible that, like, I will age 10 years in the next six months, but, you know, it's, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I don't know. I understand. Uh, you got to work with Ben on Accountant. Yeah. And that's one of the ones that I'm really excited for. What was the process like? What was it? What was the experience? Um, it was restorative, if I'm honest. It was just, uh, like, I felt really tired from... The previous year I'd done Pitch Perfect, I mean straight as in I drove to Mississippi the next day, you know, straight into the hollers, and then straight into um, Mr. Wright, and then straight into Press for Into the Woods, which is, you know, just, and then like I basically started The Accountant, and I was kind of nervous about uh, my uh, ability to give any kind of significant energy to it. And um, Gavin and Ben were so uh, Gavin O'Connor. Sure. Um, Gavin and Ben were um, so great and um, uh, so sensitive and thoughtful about everything that it was one of those reminders that like this isn't just a thing that I'm like you know running from this one to the next one to the next one like this is a thing that. Uh, feeds me you know it's not just a thing that I give to it's a thing that gives back to me sorry I, that was ew no. ew gross but it is true no I, I completely get it. it it recharged you as an actor yes totally uh, I'm gonna say thank you for putting up with my questions it's great hopefully these were at least somewhat new they were amazing